to a family haunting tonight and then make it home in time for Easter. That's the plan. Thought I'd jump on here and say hi to everybody and wish everybody a happy Easter. So yeah, we got a family haunting tonight. Turn right onto you. GPS right now. Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend. Use the left lane to make a U turn. Then turn left onto US 36 West. Next Friday night, 8 o'clock, we'll have a brand new family haunting. This is the one I've been talking about. You don't want to miss this family haunting. It's probably one of the best investigations I think I've ever been part of. So that'll be next Friday night, 8 o'clock. I feel like I may have forgotten my chaps. Turn right onto J. Sorry, I can't read chat right now. In three miles. Everybody ready for the Easter Bunny to come tonight? I don't know if the Easter Bunny comes tonight or first like early in the morning. I feel like the Easter Bunny comes like early in the morning. That's what I think. Yeah, this is a case that Sean worked on scheduling, so unfortunately I don't know a whole lot of the backstory. I just know the family has a lot going on. So it'd be kind of nice getting them some closure and hopefully the day before Easter. It is extremely windy out today. Anybody have to do any traveling for Easter this weekend? Sean was going to go live on TikTok as well. Just not for sure. So, haven't found us on TikTok. Look, look us up on TikTok and all that fun stuff. I just had my crown done. It's on like the bottom back tooth. I don't know if you guys remember, like a year and a half ago, I bent down on a pork chop accidentally on the bone and I broke two teeth the top one they did a root canal which sucks the bottom one they tried like uh, doing a filling in it but that fell out so they decided Tuesday to do a crown but they put the crown on and then about two hours ago the crown broke in half I swallowed half of it and then I got the other half out, so I have a crown in my belly somewhere. And unfortunately, my dentist is on vacation next week. So I can't go in until the 8th to get it fixed. So this hot coffee hurts, and this cold tea hurts. And everybody that said crowns don't hurt, they lied to me. The crown was actually more painful to get done than the root canal. At the next stop sign. I don't know if it's just because they couldn't numb, because they tried numbing it, and uh, it wasn't numbing. So, it was a painful experience. 
lasts over an hour. All because of one stupid... At the stop sign. Turn left on State Route 49. I should have turned my uh, directions off until I get close. So yeah, we got an investigation tonight, and then we go... I think Thursday we have another investigation. A lot of traffic out today. I don't want to pull out in front of any cars. In three and a half miles. So yeah, that's what we got going on next Friday night through April. We'll have brand new episodes coming out. Like I said, I'll put up a preview Monday or Tuesday for Friday night's episode. It's pretty crazy. So I feel like sometimes you'll get into uh, some hauntings are like just crazy intelligent where they can like communicate back and forth nonstop. This is probably one of the most intelligent hauntings I think we've ever done. Because even like when you weren't even asking questions, you were just doing something like the spirits would respond to you. And then there was that one point where the uh, we were trying to get them to get the REM pod to go off. And it seemed like the spirit was having a hard time activating the REM pod and the other alarms. And at one point he set off the REM pod and like the spirit legit got like super excited and started talking about it. So it was pretty neat to experience. Plus, it's a great family we work with, so you guys will really enjoy this one. So you will not want to miss Friday night. I'm trying to sip my coffee. And In two miles. Fortunately, it's a tube all the way in the back, so. If it was one of my front teeth, you probably wouldn't see me filming tonight. I would just stay behind the camera. But yeah, Rocky and Sean are on their way down there right now, and they're going to meet me at the case, so. artwork my daughter had the cup sorry I cannot read comments right now Also, while we were on here, wanted to uh, send prayers and condolences to Wheezy. She's been a long time mod of ours. Just let you know that we're all keeping your thoughts and our prayers, you and your family. So, rough times. Use the left lane to. you for the donation. Sorry if I missed you guys. Keep left. I'll uh, write a list and give you guys a shout out whenever I get. In about 15 miles. After that, then we've got more family hauntings coming up in April. We got the collaboration video coming up. 
probably do that here in April. I've got that about 95% done editing, which it turned out really, really good. So I think you guys will really enjoy that. And then Thursday night, we're investigating a very one place that we've actually never investigated. I think that'll surprise a lot of people considering that we're from Ohio. So we'll um, go live sometime Thursday. I don't want to spoil it and tell you where we'll be, but it's one place that's always been on my bucket list to investigate. We've never investigated there. So Thursday we'll have our first opportunity. that we're working on getting some stuff scheduled for Chase and Eagle so we're working on that pretty soon sorry copper I fear as long as the cop didn't turn around we'll be all right but um Yeah, we're hoping to go down to um, Tennessee and if they haven't got any more answers on the Sebastian case, we'll go down there and work on that. See if we can figure anything out. I think right now we're just kind of letting all that stuff die down there. For some reason, it just seems like there's a lot of outside drama with that case. Typically, when we film Chase and Evil, we like to go in unannounced do our thing and then get out of town before anybody notices. So that'll probably be the case with this one. This is a lot easier that way. There's less drama. There's less issues. The fewer people that know you're in town filming, the better. The good thing is, there's a lot of attention on his case, so that's a positive thing. You just always want to be respectful of the family, be respectful of all the search teams and the people out searching. And it's like even the uh, search team that we work with out of Indiana, I mean, they're probably one of the best I've ever worked with. And we just keep everything like super low key. Because when you're doing your searches, especially if you're doing like the big searches, I think they learned their lesson in Delphi is things can really get screwed up if there's not somebody controlling things. You just have people out running around and walking around and moving stuff and touching stuff. And... But it's good that Sebastian has a lot of eyes just a lot of good, decent people working on the case, so if we can get down there in the next week, I would think I would have a good signal from here. Yeah, what I'll do next week is um, maybe Tuesday I'll post the uh, premiere, the trailer for that. So anybody, double check your notifications. Make sure it's clicked to all. There's so many people that when we do a premiere, they'll say that they weren't notified. But I think the thing is, when you click your notifications, make sure you click all. And then make sure you do that for whatever device watch YouTube on. Some people use their cell phones, their laptops, their TVs. So each device, you may have one notification set for one device, but it doesn't notify you on another device. So whatever device you typically use, just make sure. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button. It helps us with the algorithm.
great as windy in Ohio today. And then probably one day next week we'll go live. That's the plan. It'll probably be family haunting, collaboration video, family haunting, or it might be family haunting, family haunting, collaboration video. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. March kind of screwed us up because there's actually, we typically try to do three Fridays a month. March, this March had five Fridays. So it seems like an extra long, which I guess it is extra long between the time we upload videos. But it is what it is. Yeah, the Case Friday, you guys really, really like that. It's actually pretty neat the way it all transpired, too. Because when you start the investigation, you know, you meet with the family and all that stuff, and you still have a lot of questions. And you really don't know until you get in and investigate what's actually going on. So this is one of, this is a case that's like super unique as far as the haunting that's taken place. So, I don't know. We'll see. I think you guys are really... It's, like I said, it's one of the best investigations I've ever been part of. Holy crap, that hurts. not good when you drink coffee 24 hours a day and coffee makes your tooth hurt. But here shortly, I'm going to have to jump off here because I think my GPS is having me go a different way than what I was thinking. I basically just wanted to update you guys kind of let you know what we're out doing and then what we have coming up wish everybody a happy Easter like we eat ham on Easter candy ham does anybody eat candy ham just give me a thumbs up if you like ham I like candied ham if it's like overcooked that's like the best what the hell that was. got equipment going off somewhere on where it's at sound like a gopro My signals lasted this long up to swim. And at one thing, we got one hell of a rainstorm in Ohio this morning. I think Monday and Tuesday is supposed to be some pretty big storms rolling through. Duke's picture fell down and scared the shit out of me. I have it up so you guys can be dangling in there. Hello, Dookie. Hi, my name's Dookie Boy. Hey, it's 
See, I'm getting ready to jump on the interstate here, so I'll, um, we'll try to go live one day this week before we put the episode out Friday, maybe talk about that a little bit, answer some questions. That way I can actually read and see the chat. So everybody, please have a safe and happy Easter. Thank you guys all for your friendship and your support. And wish us luck tonight. Hope we can get this family some answers and some help. And they can enjoy their Easter tomorrow. And everything will be good to go. So thank you guys all. Everybody have a great weekend. And we'll see you for sure next Friday, 8 o'clock. Don't forget, mark your calendar, set uh, notifications on your phones. And we'll see you guys in live chat next Friday night, 8 o'clock. You will not want to miss it. Team Nightmare out.